Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Here we are, Friday Night Flies, Bass Pro and Tawasin. This guy's here. Hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, he came in, he's getting prepped for his Barbados trip. He's gone to the dark side. Yeah, I gotta bring some spin fishing gear. Yep. The fly ride's coming, don't be worried. Yep. It's coming. It's you should bring the spay like we mm -hmm. talked about last time you were there. That's good. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Now that it's working. We yeah, were just discussing yep. how now my spay rod is working. So, yep. so we have to bring that out. But, uh, yeah, the dark side's mostly for my father. Yeah, so fair enough. He can come along and still chuck it. Chuck in the salt. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been uh, kind of fun having Scott kicking around. Uh, took all his money again. Uh, we won't tell his wife that. Um, he he bought one bag. Yeah. <laughs> it full. may or may not be full of stuff. One bag full. Yeah. <laughs> so this week, I'm just going to go off the cuff. I've had this fly kind of in my head for a couple days now, and I'm just going to put it on the vise. So pretty simple little bull trout streamer. Um, it's basically a clouser. <laughs> It'll work. It works. Um, and I'm going to use some craft fur because everybody else uses craft fur these Welcome days. Welcome to the dark side. Because why not? Welcome um, to the dark side. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I should have. I've got one. There's a video that the OPST guys did called uh, The Bad Hair Day. Okay. Entirely made of craft fur. Yeah. It is so greasy. So next week. I could probably do one. Because I did one for pinks. I did it uh, for the pink salmon. And yeah. I hooked into some big boys on that thing. It's a big, nasty craft fur stream. Do it up, man. Yeah, it, it's a fun one. It's better to fish that one on a heavy sink tip, but we'll, we'll get into that next week because I guess I'll be doing it now. Um, so, yeah, this is a pretty simple one. Let's uh, head down and check it out. All right, so like I said, simple little bull trout pattern. I don't know. Let's off the cuff this. I'm probably going to play with this one and add some rubber legs because bull trout like rubber legs, right, Scott? Hey, um, yeah, it. yeah, bull trout don't really care. So, I've got a B10S, Gamagatu size 6 in the vise. You can go whatever size you want. I got some 210 Danville in white. For whatever reason, I find, we all find, bull trout love the color white. I don't know about Fleshy. you. It, we get lots of fish on white. Hey, that's why we love the Moto Minnow at Pemberton Fish Finder. Yeah, it's a pretty wicked little fly. So, as you've seen me do a couple times here, I'm just going to make a couple little bumps here of thread. So we're going to add some weight to this fly in the form of eyes. This just creates a little trough. You've been wondering where I got that. Um, a guy by the name of Scott Howell, who's partially credited with inventing the intruder with all those guys. Um, he's from North 40 Fly Shop down in uh, Oregon, I think. He uh, does this in his videos, which nice. is kind of cool. So I just got I like it. yeah, tip. it's kind of cool. Just stops him from wiggling, yeah. which is kind of cool. So I got some painted uh, lead eyes here in pearl, size small. Pick those up from. Uh, Jordan up at uh, Pacific Angler yesterday. So we're just going to lock those in on the underside. Nope, I'm doing this the wrong way. There you go. We, we want, want them riding, on the bottom. We want it yep. riding inverted. Riding dirty. Let's swap that back around. There we go. So this way, by putting it on the top here, that's going to have that hook point riding up when it's fishing through the water. Ooh. Staying clear of the bottom. Yeah. Sure, that's sitting nice and good. Couple wraps around. Clousers are one of those like universal patterns that work everywhere. Um, I'm sure you'll take a few down to Barbados with you. Know you. It, man. Freshwater, saltwater. They work. Trout, bass, pike. Different size, different color. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to use craft fur, but I'm not going to entirely use it. I want something that's going to help kind of prop up that top wing. So I'm just going to use some white bucktail from Superfly. Love these Supreme strips. They're beautiful. We just got some silver Dr. Blue ones in. I'm hoarding the only good one that came in. <laughs> so if you want one, you're going to have to fight me for it. If you double, you might be able to twist his arm. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut off a chunk here. Roughly align some of these tips. Can doesn't need to be perfect. And you can make this as long or as short as you like. I'm gonna go about yay big. Measure it, tie it off. We're gonna lock that down in front. A couple nice snug wraps. I'm gonna cross on top. I'm gonna tie this nice and snug to the bottom or 
to the top right now, but to the bottom of the shank. And we're going to go back. And I'm going to cross back the other way. Hopefully you can see that. So there's a little X on there. It's going to tidy up that head. It's pretty important when you're using the bucktail. It is. Because you're bouncing those eyes on the bottom, and that's where the bucktail is going to break. Yeah. So that little X on the top helps to keep it all together. And just to secure it, I got some of the Solar Res uh, super thin, bone dry, whatever they want to call it. You've seen me use it before. This has kind of replaced my head cement. It's like perfect stuff. So I'm just going to secure that bucktail a little bit more, make it a little more durable. If you've caught bull trout before, they are not nice to flies. Quick little cure. Bone dry and tack free, which is what we love about the Solar Res. So now we're going to flip this guy. And we're going to have a little bit of flash. So here I've got some Ripple Ice Fiber and UV Pearl. This is some cool material. Comes in just pretty scraggly. Hopefully I can get it's it to... It's almost like dubbing, the UV ice dubbing. Almost. That hasn't been trimmed. Yeah. I'm going to actually grab a different section here. Sometimes you get lucky and you can find them all kind of roughly aligned. Like so. Ooh. That's more what I'm looking for. So I don't need much, just a little bit. I'm going to have that about the same length as the uh, the bucktail there. You can see that UV bouncing off the fluorescence in here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on camera, oh, but yeah. it's pretty cool. And then I'm just going to fold that over. So I tied it kind of on my side, on this side of the shock. Now I'm going to pull it over on the other side, just so it kind of evens up. Full and coverage. You know what? That is perfect length for this fly. <laughs> that actually looks all right. That'll swim. And now, like I said, to finish this guy off, Crafter in white. Easy stuff to use. Did you see that video of the guy that turns him into zonkers? No. Ooh, I'll have to send you that he link. He turns it into zonkers? He takes Crafter, and he basically takes craft glue, like Elmer's white craft glue, coats the entire bottom sheet, yeah. lets it sit overnight, and it fills in all the pores, yeah. and then he cuts it into like half inch strips. Cool and like he uses them as monster, monster streamers. streamers. Yeah, it's That's pretty cool. cool. Seems like a lot of work, but it's uh, it's a cool idea if you're looking for well, something you know new what to it'll do. Come on the market in about oh, six yeah. months. In his video where he did it, he said, "I'm waiting for Hairline to do this, so I have to, so I don't have to keep doing it." But he used uh, he used UV resins. He used uh, Jordan had liquid fusion or something like that on one of the shows that he did. Um, he's used that stuff, but he found the the cheap. White craft glue works the best, which is kind of cool. So we got a big bunch of this under fur here. Just pluck all that out. This just kind of got any extra long stragglers. Just kind of pluck them out. Beauty of craft fur, you can waste some of it. It's not the end of the world. And this, I'm gonna go a little longer than we did before. Just measure it. Trim away the junk. It's my least favorite part of clouds because I usually end up stabbing myself. I'm just going to tie that in right on top. Especially tying in a little number six. Yeah. <laughs> Could have maybe left myself a little more room. All right, we're going to have to reposition this. <laughs> All right, let's try that one more time. Fine with these small hooks. It helps to have that right back close to the eyes. Nice loose wrap. I'm just going to kind of cinch yeah, down, yeah. and we're going to tidy that all up. Nice and tight, tidy up that head. So we're going to build up a nice looking head here. Beauty of the white thread, it all kind of blends in. Kind of like so. Like I said, this one's just off the cuff, just an idea I've had. I'm actually pretty happy with how that looks. We're going to coat that head, so I'm just going to do one whip finish. Get rid of all this extra junk. Let's just kind of take that out for a sec. Reposition that craft fur. Kind of like so. That should swim nice. And that bucktail is a little bit stiffer, so it's going to help just to prop up that craft fur. And it'll all swim together. So we're just going to coat it with the Resolar Res again, all the way around. One little trick I found with these lead eyes is, I think we talked about this, when you have the colored uh, cone heads and stuff like that, they get beat up within about four or five casts, and they kind of lose all their color. 
So what I like to do is I like to take your UV cure and put it on the outside and that helps to stiffen it up and helps to keep the paint on there longer. I've got some cone heads, especially for my chum flies and stuff like that. And uh, within a couple casts normally, all the paint's gone. But if you coat it, it keeps that color there for a lot longer. There you go. Full trout clouser. I think that should swim pretty good. Just enough flash too. That's it, man. All right, let's head on up. All right, guys, there you have it. Full trout clouser with some craft fur. Super easy, deadly pattern. Scott, you can take that one with you to Barbados. I want to yeah, see some yeah. photos of you hitting some fish in the salt. Done and done. I'm going to do a few more though. Does that ripple ice fiber come in any other color? I think it does. Yeah, the ice, I'm pretty sure it comes in chartreuse and like, I think it's got the whole gamut. That'd be a good way to put a little it's... color pop in your fly. Just a little hint yeah. of something soft. Exactly. I think they do it, I think they do this in every color. You can, you can look it up on the hairline site. Uh, I picked this up at Barry's Bait. I think they had four or five colors there when I was there. Um, don't know if I've seen it at Jordan's shop. Hint, hint, Jordan, get some. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's a cool material if you can find it. So. Nice looking fly. Yeah, tie some up, smash some bullies, I smash some salt water. Is. Yeah, right? That's the best one out of all it's, of their cures. It's bone dry, and it says on it, under 10 seconds, I literally zap it pretty quick and it's done. So it's a pretty cool material if you guys uh, get around to finding some of that stuff. Yeah, right on. All right, we got a special video from Scott coming up next, so uh, stay tuned.